So I like to jump in on LinkedIn every once in a while, and then this happens. Character creator four. <laughs> Eight minutes ago. So already straight off the bat, pretty pumped, just looking at this video very quickly. Unique characters. So as we kind of go through this auto character import, so we can import our own characters. Daz, Miximo, Blender, there it is. <laughs> Best thing is, it's not Miximo, so screw you Miximo. Here they're going through the auto rig process. They got this character of, character of Sketchfab and they're, 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 I mean, I'm intrigued to see if they've been able to get the facial motion down. So I think that'll be interesting if we can do that. I mean, there's some facial stuff. So I'm intrigued about that. Oh, wow. We can even edit the characters with sliders in here as well. <laughs> they do show off the facial rig, capture rig, but I don't know if we're, if the character actually needs the shape keys to be coming in or so on and so forth. Um, so we might have to look into that one. But I mean, that looks look gorgeous. And the fact that we can use Aculips, oh, that's pretty cool. Now using these facial controls, Aculips and so on and so forth, the face puppetry has been really good in CC3. I've actually almost gone away from the facial motion capture and used this solely because I'm producing some, well, I feel that I can produce some really quality stuff very quickly. I mean, look at that. That's looking schmick. This is why I'm not clean shaven because I'll always miss a spot. We've got the ability to do some really nice renders on the turntable, which is pretty cool to show off your characters. Um, so it's a good way to showcase. I mean, it would be good for a portfolio, but I would just do it in Blender. But obviously we can do this. I'm not much of a character designer. However, Unreal Engine, Unity. Yeah, screw Unity, yuck. But Blender and Unreal Engine, the most biggest things. I'm pumped. 